Hello and uh, welcome class 7. We're going to talk about uh, normalization today and the three rules that we need to uh, consider when we create a, a table in um, third normal form. Now the first normal form says that we need to complete a table if there are repeating groups. As you can see here we have repeating groups in a product ind field which is one two and three so if you see any spaces here and you see one field here with three different fields here then it means that we have repeating groups so the thing to do is to complete the table with the fields over here here and here so we used to have only one zero zero five with three product IDs and now we have three nums, three customer names, cities, countries, etc. Now if you have something like this which means that you have quantity 1, quantity 2, quantity 3, part 1, part 2, part 3 again we have repeating groups so instead of having this table we should have this table 1001 1001, 1001, and we should have all the parts, all the quantities, all the amounts for each invoice. So you, we used to have 1001 with three parts, three products screw, nut, and washing R, or whatever that means. 1002 has two products, motor and brace, but as we see, now we have for each row we have one part so each row has one part one product now in this example do we have any repeating groups of course we have a client number here CR76 has two property numbers two that's a repeating group it has two property addresses it has two rental starts and so on and here CR56 has okay one customer name but it has three different property numbers which is a repeating group so we need to change this into into this table so we have client number one field one uh, value customer name one value so as you can see all the fields has all the fields have one value we used to have two values over here but now we have one value for each uh, field after we complete the table we need to find the primary keys to make each record unique each row or each record unique so how do we find the primary keys now the primary keys here what's the primary key it makes it's a it's a it's a, they are the keys that make each row unique so how do we make this row unique well client number and property number seems to to be um, the suitable primary keys why because um, we need to find out why this is true. Customer name is been uh, is, de is dependent on client number. Uh, property address is being dependent on property number. Rent start it depends on property number and client number. We need to know the property number plus the client number in order to find out the rent start. Same with rent finish now rent what do we need to know to find rent we need to know the property number as you see here pg4 is 350 pg4 is 350 pg16 is 450 pg16 here is 450 so rent we need to know the property number in order to find rent um, in order to know the owner number we need to know um, the property number right so if we know 
If we know PG4, we also know that this belongs to Tina Murphy. PG4, Tina Murphy. If it's a PG16, we know for sure that we're talking about the owner named Tony Shaw. Okay, PG16, Tony Shaw, CO93. Owner name also depends on property number. PG4, Tina Murphy, PG4, Tina Murphy. So as you can see, these two fields here are the primary keys because the all the all the fields all the non primary keys depend on these two fields so c name depends on client number p address depends on property number and then start depends on both property number and client number okay if i only know pg4 that doesn't mean i know the rent start as you can see here, it says PG4 and run start is July 1st. But here, PG4, the run start is September 1st. So, if I know the property number, I don't know the run start or the run finish either. I need to know CR76 and PG4 in order to know that the run starts uh, on July 1st. Okay? So, uh, rent start and rent finish uh, these two depend on both client number and property number uh, rent depends on property number as we said before our number and our name depends on property number so as you can see these two fields here um, all the fields all the fields here depend on these two primary keys So, okay, we found the primary keys. Um, that's this is another example that shows uh, how to find the primary keys. Here, the primary keys is num and product ID. Why? Customer name depends on num. If we know the num, we know the customer name. If we know num, we know city, and if we know num, we know the country. But if we know num, we don't know the, the description here S or or the product ID. So we need another uh, we need another primary key to to know to find out the description. So um, if I know the product ID, I also know the table. So table, desk, and chair depends on uh, pro product IDs 1, 2, and 3 respectively. So the primary keys here are num and product ID. So in our example we said that the primary fields, the primary keys are client number and property number. Now we continue to um, change our tables into second normal form. Second normal form suggests that we need to um, uh, states that we need to remove any fields which are not dependent on all primary keys. So, which fields are not dependent on all primary keys? We said that um, rent start and rent finish. These these two, they depend on both primary keys. On client number and property number okay so rent start and rent finish need to be moved away with client number and property number okay we said before that client name or P address or rent or our number or our, our name they don't depend on both primary keys so the fields, the, the fields which depend on both primary keys are rent start and rent finish. So, as we can see here, um, which says here which fields are dependent on both, on client number and property number, and this is only rent start and rent finish. So we keep client number, property number, rent start and rent finish together in one, in one table. So we have created one table 
uh, with the fields client number, property number, the two primary keys, together with rent start and rent finish, because these two fields depend on on both primary keys. Now we take we take the first primary key, which is client number, and we need to ask the question: which fields are dependent on client number? Well, client number. Well, customer name depends on client number. If I know the client number, I also know customer name. Okay? And also property number. Which fields are dependent dependent on property number? Well, if I know the property number, I know the property address. That's easy. And also if I know the property number, I know which, uh, who owns that property. And also our name and also the rental price now a third normal form suggests states that we need to move any fields which are not dependent on the primary key but are dependent on non key fields so if there are any fields that are not dependent on the primary key then create another table and insert these fields inside. So here we have client table with client number and C name. We have rental with client number, property number, rent start and rent finish. We have property owner, which is property number, property address, rent, owner name and owner owner number. But if we look uh, closely here, if we look closer, we see that owner name is dependent on owner number and not on property number. What this means is that if I know the owner number, if I, if I know the owner ID, I also know the owner name. If I know, for example, the student ID, then I also know, I can find out the student name and surname. Same here, if I know the owner number, I know the owner name. So remove the field and make a new table. Remove this field, this field here, owner name, and make a new table. So we have these tables in third normal form. Client table, render table, property owner table, and owner table. Um, now, here we see that if you see uh, owner number here in the property owner table, it means that one owner has many properties, which is correct. Okay, so if you see a foreign key here, owner number, it means that one owner has pro has many properties which is correct and basically that's uh, basically we finish we change the table into third normal form thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy this uh, advanced uh, technological lesson thank you